Hello, I'm Rick Armstrong with Canada Malting. I'm the MBR Operations Supervisor, and I'm going to bring you on a tour of how we take effluent and make it into clean permeate for the local utility. Effluent is brought from the malting process into the EQ tank. From the EQ tank, it is pumped over to the drum screens. At the drum screens, we remove any solids larger than half a mil. From there, the effluent is dropped into the anoxic wet well and then pumped over to the anoxic tank where the biological process starts. From there, the effluent equalizes into the one million gallon aeration basins. In the aeration basins, the water waits until it is brought into the MBR system. I'm standing on top of the MBR train right now. Inside the train are three Zeewee cassettes. The cassettes are pulling effluent in through a vacuum and creating permeate that we send to the local utility. Behind me are the Neuros turbine blowers. They provide oxygen to the aeration basins to support biological life. They spin at around 20,000 RPM on an airfoil bearing that doesn't require any oil or grease. I'm standing in front of the pump skid. The pump skid contains two pumps, a RAS-WAS pump and a permeate pump. The RAS, the return activated sludge, is effluent that's brought from the aeration basins through the trains and back to the anoxic tank. The WAS, or waste activated sludge, is brought from the aeration basins through the train and back to the sludge tank that is dewatered at the belt press. and composted later. The permeate pump brings water from the aeration basins through the Zeewee cassettes and creates permeate which we send to a local utility. It also works double duty. It will run in reverse and bring permeate from the back pulse tank through the Zeewee cassettes which back pulses them, cleans them and prevents fouling. I hope this brief video gave you some insight into MBR technology.